Hello, and welcome to Leon's Lock Pad. It is Stock Clock Sunday, so it's good to be doing a Stock Lock today. And we're doing this very nice Abus 7240. Um, I got this from Alan from UK Lock Pickers. Um, he's also our UK Lock Pickers .co.uk. He has a shop. All your picking needs, please check him out. But before we start, if you're interested in Lock Sport, you want to get involved, please check out www.uklocksport.co.uk. That's UKLS. Or you find me on Discord, Extraordinary League of Pickers, or at UKLP at Lock Picking at Lock Sport on Facebook. And if you'd like to see on my channel, you want to see some more, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. I make two, three videos per week for picker locks to challenge locks to giveaways, tutorials to all type of locks for late, really. You sure I got a little bit of a cold. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick in the hand. And for once, let me just show you the bit in. There's a bit of the abus. Um, it does work absolutely smooth. Now it is not 100% stock, it's not a challenge lock. Um, there was a problem with it when I got it. Um, so I had to replace the springs and I think I put American springs in it, but no pinning or anything's been changed. It's just the, 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 the springs were too far gone to be repaired. Give me some light. Um, and what we're going to use is my Sparrows kit. I'm always using um, Home Brews, which are absolutely beautiful. They work awesome, but you know, I thought for once I would have it go using a normal Sparrows kit. Commercials. Right, let's see if we can get this open. Uh, I hope you're okay. And I hope a oh, lot you're okay, in Carolina, after that storm. I'll click on three. There's a possibility I just overset. Yeah, I think I overset them. With this one, you've got to give it a fairly good bit of um, tension, because uh, it's quite a strong spring in this. Oh, I've got a click and a little turn of the cover. to go I think I'll go for another reset you know what I want to try a different pick Can we do it with this? It's definitely been a bit awkward, this one. I've actually not picked this as well. I think that, that tension wrench. I'm going to reset that red tension wrench, try to fall out. Another click down on five. Four, three, I think that was one, and that 
Just one more pin there somewhere. There we go, we're open. It was number three. That was giving me trouble. Right, so let's get it open. Yo. Oh. I hope everybody's feeling well and you're all okay. Very miserable weather in Manchester. There we go, we can lock that back up. Let's have a look right to your right. Well, that's not gonna work. Need, I need foxes. Awesome little follower this. Especially for this type of lock and the American locks. I remember I used to have a, a real bad struggle getting these off when I didn't have that follower. I used to get about them, they'd be a, they're a right pain in the backside. Um, what do I need now? Lost the plot. Huh. I need keys. And we need to turn it. Let's have a look. I'll turn it there. Very slowly through. As you do. And there we go. We're through. With a six pin. Everything needed picking really, just two, uh, five and six was slightly, it would have been an overset if you pushed it too hard, but the, uh, I think five on this, five's the bind it, as soon as you touch it, it clicks, you know where you're going, obviously they're all going to be standard, they'll be done work done to this, you can see the scratches where the other springs got caught. But um, size that, yeah, there's no modifications to the core, really, like I say, it is. It is stock, except for springs. And that's not all the springs need, I think it's only, it was only a few of them. I think it was four of them, actually, maybe. Right, let's have a look. So we've got a spool in one. With a steel spring, I think. Could be a stock spring, that one. In number two, we have another spool. Ah, oh, there we go, with an American spring. Number three, we have another spool. With a... Oh, that dropped him, it just fell back in here. Another American spring. And... Four is another spool. Wow. This has a lot of spools for an Abus. I know Abus have spools, but I've not seen an Abus have this many. We've got a standard. And the last one is a spool again. And an American spring. And a steel spring obviously there's nothing in here this is all done let me show you the pins as you can see they are all just standard and basically we've got five spools on one stock which is uh, it's a lot of spools but it didn't give that much see this is yeah, I'll have to resort that out because there's your problem for one thing. From what I remember is, let me just put where's the tweezers? Let me put this key pin in there. We'll put this one in there. 
Now, I understand a standard in that one, and I don't know why there's a spool in that very last one there. Give me a second. In that very last one, if you, there's, there's no interaction at all with that spool. It's just pointless being in there. So I might remove that and put a standard key pin in there because it's just a waste of a spool. You can't do anything with it. Well, <laughs> you know, Lock really did, did the video today as well about that, about spools not being put in the right places, but there's nowhere for that spool to go. There's not enough room, so not, it's just stupid. <laughs> we'll sort it out, though. But, um, yes, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you like that, so please subscribe and bye.